Welcome to another episode of Big Lee's Corner. All right, I said there would be no more Big Lee's Corner for the rest of the month. However, two things. One is I didn't think of the unboxings in case a mystery box arrived, which one didn't. So, but another thing is when I was doing the as Ian doing the origin of Evil Orija review. The Noah Sane character mentioned the Devil Doctor and what the Devil Doctor does. And if you notice, he says, why does that look familiar? So I kind of thought, since none, most of you don't know what Ian Noah Sane's background story is, I thought I would go ahead and express what the Ian Noah Sane character is, how it, how it all came about. But anyway... First of all, the clothes of the gimmick. On Christmas Day 2002 in wrestling training, my trainer at the time, Marvelous Mitch Ryder, had this idea of a gimmick for me where I wear a Hannibal mask and hospital scrubs. I was going to show the mask as I described it. Okay, I have to bring it out here with me. But yeah, it'd be like I'm wearing a Hannibal mask, hospital scrubs, and the steel toe boots I was wearing at the time. Because I had to wear steel toe boots when I was working at Goodwill in the past. So I continued to wear them even though I haven't worked for Goodwill for over a year almost by that point. And the background story of this gimmick would be is that, by the way, this would be a no-name character. There wasn't a name for the character yet. He also said he had a music playing for the character, but never told me what it was. I dropped out of training about maybe four weeks later. Anyway, I had other things on my mind, so I couldn't focus on continuing the wrestling training. So that character never came about. No, there was something up. Oh, yeah, there was no name for the character. So... It was just a unknown character in Hospital Scrubs and Animal Mask. However, let's see. Four weeks later, if I'm very correct. Well, anyway, the day would be in January 15th. I did my. I actually managed to do a run in. Hoosier's Best, Don Seals. So, was cutting a promo. How he reunited with his kidnapped son. Courier Express were, were claiming that Don Seals kidnapped his own son and all that bullshit. I don't know the whole story exactly, but the whole point is Don Seals, after showing he's reunited with his son, he called out anybody. So first of all, a guy named Mr. X came in, did a diving forearm on Don Seals behind his back. Don Seals uh, super kicks him and throws him out of the ring. And then yours truly runs in. Hits Don Seals from behind with a forearm. And then I Irish whip Don Seals in the ropes. And he hits me with a flying clothesline and throws me out of the ring. So the point is, Don Seals uh, hasn't been in CCW for maybe... Two, yeah, it was two years when I originally started coming up with the idea for the name of this gimmick. But since Don Seals is called Hoosier's Best, and he hasn't showed up in CCW since that point, my gimmick was go. I thought about it. I did think about returning at some points. My gimmick was going to be, I call myself Hoosier's Worst Nightmare, because in character, Hoosier's Best was scared of me because I was the last man to physically attack him on a CCW show. Which, by the way, stands for Coliseum Championship Wrestling. But since I was the last man to physically attack him, <laughs> that would be the gimmick of my character on this one. I mean, I'd be doing a double character, actually. Some people actually do a masked character and an unmasked character. Sometimes even two masked characters. But anyway, that's what that's what Big Lee and Hoosier's worst nightmare would have been. And then, about five years later, two, four years later, 
however many years are between 2005 and 2008. The whole point is in 2008, <coughs> two of my co-workers, uh, Warren and Kathy, were talking about, uh, Kathy used to be a nurse and everything. But anyway, I was listening in on their conversation. I was a third man working with them. But anyway, they were talking about, by the way, sometimes patients will sue doctors and shit like that. Sometimes just for a doctor giving them the facts or the patients will sue them. So here I was thinking to myself, the doctors fix these dumbasses. If I were one of these doctors, I'd break these dumbasses. So here I was picturing this idea. Become a, actually become a, you know, I don't know if I'm serious about this, but I thought about every one of these doctors, I would get these patients in and then break them, do some kind of damage to them. And then here's how the, this is kind of how the name Ian Sane came about, just Ian Sane, not Ian Noah Sane, the Noah name doesn't come in until later. But anyway, the whole point is, in saying the patients that sued him, he gets vengeance on them by tormenting them in the worst ways. And you see the Ian saying, if you say Ian real quick, you'd be saying insane. So that's kind of how the name came about. And then another guy you'll eventually see on either a Big Lee's Corner or. I Insane's Asylum. Most likely I Insane's Asylum. He's more of a horror fanatic than the rest thing. But anyway, his name is Chris Ward. He goes by, he used to be a wrestling manager going by Queasel. We were classmates in the first few weeks of training. Anyway, he kind of misunderstood the name and saying, Dr. I Insane. So then I was like, that sounds like a good idea. So it kind of took me a bit to think of a middle name that started with an N, but then Noah kind of came to mind. The Noah would stand for no sanity. You can't really quiet out the uh and Noah, but no sanity is what the Noah is, is meant to be about. So insane, no sanity. Is there anything else I was going to add on? Anyway, that's kind of how Ian Noah Sane was made. However, I did think of uh, making a movie based on those evil thoughts I was thinking of. About being a doctor getting vengeance on patients. So, that's why the devil doctor sounds familiar to I Insane. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I guess not. I'll just wrap it up. That's all for this episode of Big Lee's Corner. It'll be posted on both of my pages. Whether you're on I Insane's uh, Asylum or Big Lee's Corner. This episode here will be the first one to be on both pages. That's all for now. I'll try to have a nice day. So as I press that.